Good evening. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Uh, tired, but it's Friday. <laughs> yes, it's Friday today. Then we will continue resting, right? Tomorrow we will uh, rest the whole day. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Estaba viendo un video en TikTok y <laughs> estaba, estaba ordenando una comida y, y dijo, I, I have y me acordé de la clase. <laughs> which one was which one was the error? Um what was that again? Okay, my bad. Thank you. Ezekiel, sorry. Could you repeat what was the error that they made? I'll uh, in, in the video say I'll have a, a ah. cup of coffee for for him for example. Oh, I got you. I have. Uh -huh, <laughs> I'll yes, have. Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Uh, de, como ordenando. Uh. Mm -hmm. I got you. All right, guys, welcome to the class. Thank you for joining on time. We will start the class right now, guys. How are you today? Fine? So, so, so. So, so. Happy because it's Friday? Yes. Very good, yes. I'm happy as well because it's Friday. Okay, guys, so we will start the class right away. Do you remember yesterday I told you to continue practicing the last uh, tone twister? No, maybe. Yes, teacher. Yeah, the last one, the, right? The, the last, last one, which was the, 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 the difficult candy. one. <laughs> the candy, <About> exactly. 
All right. So uh, we will go ahead and do it right now. We will make uh, pairs for us to practice it and you will practice it with your pair, okay? Teacher. Uh, yes. Could you send it in the chat? Oh, for sure, I can send it to you. One moment, please. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? Fine, thank you for asking me. Okay. Today is Friday. <laughs> I will send to you the picture, guys. One moment. <clears throat> let me see. Let me open WhatsApp and let me send it to you. Why are you so quiet today, guys? What's going on? You're so quiet. What happened? I am so quiet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. why? Teacher. Yes? I didn't um, platform. Uh, this day's review. Uh, the homework? The homework, yes. Yes. Um, today, we finished with the other um, activities. Okay. The section three. Session three. Yes, session three. Okay. Oh, let me review. Let me review. Uh, Jose, Jose Aguirre. Okay, okay, okay. How many sessions do we have in the platform? Do we have five or do we have four, guys? Only four. Only four, right? Okay. Give me a moment. Let me make sure. My recommendation will be to continue as normal as it is, right? Like to continue completing the the this session. Um, the session three. Let's go ahead and oh no, but you know what? The session three it says that is about troubleshooting. We haven't gone there. We are still in session two, even though uh, this is the third week. But we haven't gone to the unit number three yet. So let me see. <clears throat> yes, we are we are still in the number two. So you should be completing the, the session two only by today. Or I mean session one, session two, midterm exam, everything should be completed by today. But the session three should be completed until next week because the unit three belongs to the session three. So it's better, right? Because uh, the unit number three, was, which is about it's troubleshooting, better. it's not being studied yet, all right? So we better finish just session uh, two. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. I will send it to you a screenshot just for the sessions that we should be completed by today, guys. Uh, let me get a moment. Let me send to you the picture. Due day. Due day, le vamos a poner 19 del 08, 2022, by 12 midnight, right? Midnight. By dice ahí, due date, midnight. So, solamente serían de completar, guys, eh, verificar que esté completada la sesión número uno, dos, eh, toda la unidad número dos de directions and instructions, and then midterm, que es el que ustedes hicieron. Pero igual, si quieren sacarse mejor nota, lo pueden hacer. El session number three and four are the ones that are missing. 
Uh, we cannot go to the unit number three because we haven't gone to troubleshooting yet. Okay. Okay, so, I got it. Great. So guys, uh, we will start then. Uh, um, go ahead and make some breakout rooms for us to practice the tongue twister, the one that I sent to you already, okay? Let me get a second. Assign manually. <laughs> All right, let me do this. We're 16. Okay. Uh, just let me modify it. Luis Alberto Galicia está como listener. Estela Mabel está como listener. So let me move you to the number 10. Let's see, Angela Estefania, Daniel, Julio Cesar, Marcos, Jaime, Nora, Manianos. Sorry, guys. I'm just assigning you to the breakout rooms, okay? Uh, Jose René dijo que estaba de listener. Quienes no está, solamente tengo tres listeners de los que me han dicho. Estela Mabel, José René y Luis Alberto. Guys, si hay alguien más de listener, por favor, dejarme saber. Bye, guys. Entonces, los breakout rooms are open, all right? Um, <clears throat> Dele and click on join, guys. Click on join for you to go to the, um, let me see, breakout rooms. We have just a meal card. Let me see. Amil card. You are with Julio Cesar, number three. Okay, click on join, guys, please. Click and join. Click and join, and we will start practicing the tone twister, the last tone twister, the, the difficult that we had yesterday. Teacher, me envía nuevamente la invitación. Oh, yes. Let me get a second. Mm, let's see. I will send it to you twice. The, no, in, the, in the first time, do not join. And the second one joined it, okay? Not in the first one, but in the second. So now let's go ahead and join in this one, okay? okay. Thank you, Milka. I may, uh, I'll be back, I'll be back, let's see. Hi, Hello, teacher. how are you guys? I'm fine, but I don't know what to, what, what do we do? <laughs> ah, don't worry, uh, we are practicing the tongue twister. Um, ah, okay. okay. The, the last you. one. The, the Peter. Um, <clears throat> the, hat, the, the Peter Piper peck, picked. A peck of pickle peckers. <laughs> so, but I would like to know if you have any question about pronunciation before I go, guys, so we can practice it. Entonces, esto vamos a repasar. Yes, right now, just to Peter practice. Piper. Uh -huh. Peter. Vaya. Vaya. <laughs> si gusta. No questions with the pronunciation? Uh, I think. Vamos a. Voy a intentarlo y, y luego me dice si me equivoco. Sure. Okay. No, but if you have questions, you let me know right now and, and we, will, we, will, we will verify. No, no questions. No, not the chance. Okay, great. You. That's fine. You, you let me know in case you have any question and we have just 10 minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Pero yo, usted lo tiene en su, en su compu, porque yo lo tengo en el teléfono, entonces me tengo que... Lo voy a descargar, aquí lo tengo. Yo lo copié, pero no es lo mismo. Ajá, no, aquí lo abro, no hay problema. Va. Voy a empezar de nuevo. 
Okay. And Peter, Peter, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello Sorry, I, I, I don't. I don't know what is the instruction that we need to do. Ah, okay, don't worry. Uh, we will practice the tongue twister, the last one that we had yesterday. We will have 10 minutes to practice it and to master it. Um, do you have wow. questions about the pronunciation? I know, but I need to practice. Uh, can you listen to me? Yeah. Tongue twister, okay. tongue twister okay. is like okay. a trava lengua. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. You were the listener yesterday, right? No, yesterday I was yesterday I wasn't in the class. <gasps> Sorry. And Daniel, you was a listener, right? Yes, yes. Oh, that's the reason. Okay, sorry, but, my bad. Yesterday but, we were practicing a lot of tongue twisters. The last one was this one, and it was the difficult one. So let me give you the pronunciation, and then you practice it, okay? Okay. Okay. So I will do it slower, and then I will do it a little, a really, uh, a little bit uh, faster. It's not easy for me as well because I, I, I don't like tongue twisters. It, it's been always uh, difficult for me, but I will try. At least I will give you the pronunciation. But it's Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Right. A peck of pickled, pickled peppers, Peter Piper pe picked, picked. If, pe if Peter Piper uh, picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay. Let me do it a little bit uh, faster. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? All right. I don't do it faster, <laughs> but I try, okay? Um, okay. Questions about the pronunciation? No, I think not. The only, problem, the only problem is, is very difficult. Yes, <laughs> that, that was the main reason I asked you to, to go ahead and review, I mean, to practice it again, guys, because uh, the pronunciation plays with your mind. And that's true. It plays with your mind. For example, in my case, since I'm coming from picked, um, let me see. What is it? What is the one that it confused me? Picked a uh, peck of pickle. Picked and pickle. Picked and pickle and peck. So since you are trying those three pronunciations, sometimes it tends to confuse you and you want to continue with the same pronunciation. That's what happens, that this pronunciation plays with your mind. So try to do it a little bit slower at the very beginning. Try to on, uh, handle the pronunciation and then do it a little bit faster, okay? Okay. Questions about the pronunciation? Or to do fine? I think yeah. fine. Mena, me and what we are in practicing, we have it uh, not to the error. <laughs> Let's practice it. I know you can, guys. All right. I know you're awesome. Okay. Great. I try it. Okay, Let's so try it. Me, I be the, the first one. Okay, I Let's do it. Perfect. Peter Picker picked a pick of pickled paper. A pick, paper. A pick At the very beginning, sorry to interrupt you, is Peter. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter, 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 Peter Piper. Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Peter Piper. Pickled. Pick. Picked. There Picked. you go. Pick. <laughs> Pick uh -huh. a pack of pickled papers. I think. A pick of pickled papers, 
Peter Piper Pickle. If Peter Piper Pickle of pick, Pickled. Of pickle. Sorry, Pickled. 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 Papers. Where is the pick of pickled papers? Peter Piper pickles. Pickled. Pick. <laughs> At the end, picked. Picked. Okay. Picked. Okay. Mm -hmm. picked. Very good. Let's continue okay. uh, practicing, guys. I know you can do it. Or any question, let me know. Okay, teacher. Okay. It's my tour. De como que se dice punto. Se me olvidó. Period? Ah, period. <laughs> okay. Guys, do you have questions about pronunciation on the tongue twister? Mm. Yeah, uh, picket is the third word. Peter Piper picked the picket. Pick. No, picked. <laughs> picked. picked with T, picked. picked, picked, there you go, mm -hmm. picked. Peter Piper picked, Peter a Piper picked a bag of pickled peppers, pickled, pickled peppers, pickled peppers. Pickled. Peter Piper picked a bag of pickled peppers, Pick. A peck. Pick. 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 A peck. Pick a peck of pickled. Pick a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper, pick a peck of pickled. <laughs> pickled. Pickled. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Pickle. Pickled. Uh, pickled. Let's continue um, uh, practicing, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I know you can. This pronunciation is helping us a lot, not only in the past tense, but also um, in your, in your. I mean, the way that you move your tongue is is very helpful. That's what I, I'm asking okay. you to practice it, like individual. Because yesterday we didn't have the chance to practice it in individual, right? And this will help us a lot. So let's let's continue doing it. Any questions, guys? Let me know. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, the turn. Pick. Pick. Okay, Peter Pie. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? How are you with the tongue twister? Did you practice already? Yes, practice teacher. Uh, how do you, how uh -huh. do you say uh, pick pick up? Uh, which one? Uh, um, let me share the screen and you let me know which one. Okay. Um. Okay. In the in the second uh, a yeah. pack of pickled a pack of pickled peppers mm. Peter Piper picked 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 mm -hmm. Pit. in the Pit. second line the last one is picked yes. the last uh, one the last one is picked uh, the in the second line uh, pickled brother a pack of pickled Peppers, Pick. exactly. Okay. Peter okay. Pepper picked. Mm -hmm. There you go. Pick. Okay. Pero que te decía que esa la última palabra era pick. Ajá, pick. But guys, let's go ahead and listen to the other one. Practice one of you, listen the other person, and then you change it. All right. Okay, teach. That's the idea. Let's let's try to practice it. Okay, Julio. I start a uh, pillar paper 
pick, pick a pack of pickled pickled peppers. Pick pickled peppers. A pack of yes. pickled peppers created by the pick. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you girls? Fine with the tongue twister questions about pronunciation? Um, I forget peppers. Que digo piper, pero ya se me está quedando, teacher. Peppers. Great. That's the <laughs> point. That's the purpose. Y, teacher, la que dice como picklet, yes. ¿cómo se pronuncia? Of pick. Picklet. Uh, a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. No, espérame, teacher. Empieza así. Peter Piper Piker pick. Uh -huh. Peter Piper picked. 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 Pick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pick. Uh -huh. the There uh -huh. you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the other one is peck of pickled. Pickled peppers. Pickled. A pick of pickle. No, a peck of. A peck of pickled. A peck of pick pickle. There you go. A peck of pickled uh, peppers. Mm -hmm. A peck of pickled peppers. Great. Mm -hmm. There you go. A peck of pickled peppers. Okay, teacher. Entonces, teacher, la primera línea sería Peter Piper pickle and peck of pickle. Pickle. Picked. Pick. Oh. Picked. Mm -hmm. It's picked. 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 Dia, picked. Dia. Picked. Mm -hmm. picked. And pick. And pick. Oh. Pickle. Pickle. Pepper. Pickle. Pickle. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to practice this one. <laughs> Bye again. Peter Pike Piper Pickle, a pick of Pike uh, Piper, pe Peppers. <laughs> a peck a of pickle, pickle. Sorry, a peck of pickled. A peck of pickle. There you go. Mm -hmm. A peck of pickle. 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 A peck. A peck. Ay, perdón, perdón. <laughs> Don't worry. A peck. A peck of pickled peppers. Paso la gata aquí. No sé qué le tocó a la compu. Permíteme. Aquí está. <laughs> Your try, si quiere, Marielos. Lo volvemos a repasar completo. Peter Piper Pickle, 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 Pickle,
pick a pick of pickled peppers a pick, a pick of pickled pepper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y la segunda sería a pick of pickle, pickle, no, pickle, pickle, pepper, uh -huh. pepper, either, piper, pick, 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then if, if Peter, piper, pickle, a pick, menos, menos que más, menos mal, menos mal, <ríe> va. Peter Piper Pit, a peck of pickled pepper, a pedo, a peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper Pit, is Peter Pit, 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 no, it's Peter Piper Pit, a peck of pickled pepper, what is the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper Pit, wow, así, así, ya casi, ya almost, almost, ya casi, ay no, Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. If pickled pick, if Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, where is the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. Siempre acá me, me, me equivoco. Es que ni esa, ¿verdad? If Peter Piper, Peter Piper. Y ya no estaba diciendo Peter Piper, sino que Peter, Par, Peter Parker. <risa> Ay, no. Sí, otra vez. <risa> otra vez. Peter Piper Pit. A peco pico pepper. A peco pico pepper. Peter Piper Pit. Is Peter Piper Pit. A peco pico pepper. What is the peck of pico pepper? Peter Piper Pit. ¿Sí? Más o menos. <risa> Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper pick. Is Peter, Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. Where is the pick of, peck of pickled pepper? Peter Piper pick. Siempre me trajo. <laughs> Peter <coughs> Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper pick. Is Peter Piper pick. A peck of pickled pepper. What is the peck of pickled pepper? Peter Piper Pit. Peter. Peter. Por eso cuando es, es Peter y cuando está la I, la, la, la I es Pi. Yes, yes. Peter. Okay, I will try again. Peter Piper pick a pick of pickled papers. A pick of pickled paper, Peter Piper picks. If Peter Piper picks a pick, a pick of pickled paper, where is the pick of pickled papers, Peter Piper picks? Sorry, guys, it's yeah. peppers. Peppers. Aha, pepper. uh -huh, peppers. If now you're saying papers, this is pepper. <laughs> Peppers. Ajá, peppers, ajá, peppers. Ahí me confundo yo en esa pronunciación, teacher. O sea, lo pronuncio ajá. como que si fuera paper, de papel. No, no. It shouldn't be like that. If not, you are changing it. It's peppers. 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 Pe peppers. 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 Okay. There you go. Como que lo esté leyendo. Como que lo esté leyendo. Ah, en like español. You're, le, you're reading it. Peppers. Mm -hmm. Teacher, Christian, Christian y, y Daniel, very good pronunciation. What about uh, you? Uh, you practiced uh, the yesterday. You practiced yesterday. You should you should be better today because this is your second practice. <laughs> it's difficult. I know it's difficult. <laughs> uh, Marcos, did, did you practice already? Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Peter, pe Peter, pick, pick, Peter Piper, Peter Piper, pe uh, Peter Piper, pick of pickle paper, a uh, pick of pickle paper, Peter Piper, no, Piper, pick, if Peter, 
Tatich, es que me pierdo cuando ya voy en medio de la. No, es que vaya letras. despacio, vaya despacio. Sí, les va, les va a ayudar muchísimo, guys. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me review the pronunciation. It says Peter Piper. Picked. Peter Piper. Picked. 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 A peck. A peck of pickled. A peck of pickled. A peck of pickled. A peck of pickled pepper. Peppers. Mm -hmm. A peck of see. pickled. Sorry. A Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Uh-huh. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. No, peppers. Que si se pronuncia como que fuera peppers. Es que me confundo ahí con el peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peppers. Peppers, no es peppers. Peppers. Es pepper. A peck of pickled Pepper, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, well the, where the peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. Mm -hmm. Pick, exactly. Picked. Hoy lo dijo un poco lento, Christian teacher. Ajá. Yo lo dijo es bien que ahorita traten de hacerlo lento mientras entienden y estamos practicando la pronunciación. Okay. Okay. Peter pick pick a pick of pickle paper. A pick of pickle paper. Peter pick pick of pepper. Pepper. Y Peter pick pepper paper. Ah. <laughs> okay. Peter, Peter, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled paper. A pack of pickled papers. Peter Piper picked. If, if Peter Piper picks a pack of pickled paper, where is the pack of pickled papers Peter Piper picked? So, so. Peter, Peter Piper pick a pick of pickle pepper. A pick of pickle pepper, Peter Piper picker. Or if Peter Piper, if Peter Piper pick a pick of pickle pepper, where 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 is the pick? Where is Siva? As Eva, where is the where's? No, ahí no decís where, where is. Ajá, es where. No decís where is porque como es trabajo lengua tiene que ir. Construction. Ah, ok. Where the pick of pick of pepper. Peter pick pick. Finally. Peter Piper pick. Peter yeah. Piper pick. <laughs> Next. Ya me lo puedo. Bárbaro. Ah, ok. Hello, hello guys. Thank you for joining back.
guys, give me just one moment because I have an inconvenience with the camera. Just one moment. Okay. Uh, well, I'm fixing my camera. I would like to know who will be the, the, the first one who wants to say. Oh, by the way, I need to go through the attendance before. Give me just a second. I will go through the attendance, guys. Para los que hace poco se conectaron, eh, mandé una imagen al grupo, guys. Sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to fix this. Mm, mandé un video al grupo, perdón, una foto al grupo de hasta dónde vamos a entrar a las tareas. Acuérdense que como son cinco semanas, pues no es mucho, ¿verdad? Así que solamente van a entregar hasta la sección número dos, porque acuérdense que las unidades solo hemos visto la uno y la dos. Y ahí la tres, que es Unit 3 Troubleshooting, todavía no la hemos visto. Por ende, no la vamos a ver todavía, sino que la vamos a hacer, la vamos a ver hasta la siguiente semana. Así que pues para entregar las tareas tiene que ser hasta la sección número dos, Juntamente con el um, midterm exam. Ok. Questions about. Yeah, I did it, teacher. I know you did it, yes, but uh, try to go ahead and deliver everything before midnight, guys. Thank you. I know you did it already, but if by any chance there is someone that is missing, let's go ahead and do it, okay? Okay. All right, just let me get a second. Let's see. Uh, let me go through the attendance list, guys. Do me a favor and um turn on the camera and say present. If you're a listener, guys. Please say present and turn on the camera just for a while since you are a listener, please. Okay. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Una molestia. Cuando pase la lista, creo que me regalo unos cinco minutitos y de ausencia. Después de la lista. Sí. Ah, okay. Yes. No worries. Me estoy durmiendo, pero no es por la, no es por la, la oh, clase. Yes. Mm, está aburrida. Está no, aburrida no, la clase. No, it's, no it's mentira, not, I'm no, kidding. It's, no, no. <laughs> sí, es por, me estoy durmiendo. <laughs> no worries. Julio César, vaya a prepararse it's un good. cafecito o algo, yeah. o a echarse agüita, o se para un ratito, salta unas diez veces, unas cinco Doctor, flexiones, un ejercicio y rapidito. Ajá. Y después te, te dormí, viene. Te dormís una media hora. No, unos cinco minutos. <laughs> cinco minutos, teacher. Sí, no te preocupes, está bien. Thank you, thank you so much. So, guys, today is Friday 919, ¿ok? Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Sí, Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Presence. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher, present. Estela Mavil Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica El Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Josué Manuel Rodríguez Hernández. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Julio, did you mention today will you will stay with me on the um, on the one on one session? Did you mention this? O cuando me dijo, perdón. Está bien hoy, teacher. Sí. Ah, okay. Sí, sí. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, Julio. One moment. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Kenny Lizette Cuellar de Barrientos. Luis Alberto Belice Gertrudis. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amil Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. María Dinora Llanes Hernández. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. Sabrina Lizeth García Orellana. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. José René Aguirre Chavarría. Present teacher. Great. And Nelson Vladimir Flores Martinez. No here, right? Okay, guys, so let's see who will who will be starting with this. Sí, 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 Ángel Estefania. Uh, let me see. <laughs> let me make sure. Yes, I got I got yours. Okay, thank you. All right, who wants to start? I know you already practiced, guys, so we will get just five participants. So just five, okay? Cinco valientes ahí que quiera decirlo enfrente y que no importa que lo diga un poquitito imperfecto, pero you try it five. Five, five? Me. Christian, okay. Who else? Me. Let me put it here. Let me see. Christian. Sabrina, who else? Just five. Mm -hmm. Who else, guys? Me, teacher. All right, perfect. Who else? I, I Acuérdense try. que entre menos participa, menos aprende. María Dinora en Ezequiel. Así que try it, guys. Try it. Acuérdense que el propósito no es que lo hagan rápido, rápido, sino que, que lo hagan bien pronunciado, que lo hagan súper pronunciado, porque al final ese es el propósito de esta eh, practice. Dinora Ezequiel, Cris, Sabrina, Jaime, Dinora en Ezequiel. Do we have another one? Another participant? Me. Let's do it, Daniel. Ooh, good job, good job. Okay. All right, we will start with Christian. Let's do it, Christian. Okay. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled paper. A pack of pickled paper, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled paper, where's the pack of pickled paper, Peter Piper pick? All right, great. There is just one thing, peppers instead of papers, peppers, all right? Pickled peppers. Do you want to try it again? Let's do it, Christian. Peppers, okay? Okay. Okay. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled pepper. A pack of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled pepper, where the pack of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pick? Very good. There is one thing. <laughs> Sorry. Peppers with the S at the end in plural. Okay. Peppers. The last time. The last time. You can do it, Christian. Okay. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper pick. Is Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers? Where the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper pick. Very good, guys, a round of applause for Christian. Great, okay, very good. Let's do it with Sabrina. Let's do it, Sabrina. Sabrina, 
He said, Peter Piper pick a peck of peach. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> Sorry, I moved the mouse. All right, there you go. Okay. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper pick? Wow. <laughs> Very good, Terry. Good job. <laughs> años de práctica, right? Años, años que, si fue, que fueron al final minutos. Very good, Sabrina. Good job. Ven que la práctica es el maestro. <laughs> okay, so who's next? Let's see. Jaime, right? Jaime, let's do it, Jaime. Okay, tal vez no me trabo. <laughs> no, you won't. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. If pickled... Ya me trabo. Don't worry, let's start again. Because Sabrina is starting to be. Sabrina. Oh, no. This <laughs> time. Jaime, close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, vea, no se lo prendió. Okay. Close your eyes. Edite la cámara, ay, Sabrina, ay, para que no la vea. Con, vaya, pues, voy a apagar la cámara porque me está diciendo que ya no va a volver a la gente. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I go. <laughs> okay, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picked. If, pick, if Peter, <laughs> if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where is the pick of pickled pepper? Peter Piper picked. Okay, let's try the last time. Jaime, the last okay, time. Last okay. time. Okay. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. A peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper picks. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper, where is the pick of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Very good. Great. Okay. It's better, right? Just don't forget the S in peppers. 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 Uh -huh. Very good, Jaime. Okay, let's do it with Dinora. Let's do it, Maria Dinora. Okay. Peter Piper pit a peck of pickled pepper, a peck of pickled pepper, pepper. Ay, me trabé. <laughs> sorry, now, <laughs> sorry, don't worry. Peppers. <laughs> María Inora, peppers in Pepper. plural. Peppers. Ah, okay. Peter Piper pit a peck of pickled pepper, a peck of pickled pepper, Peter Piper pit. Is Peter Piper peck a peck of pickled pepper? Where is the peck of pickled pepper? Peter Piper pit. Maria Dinora, let's do it again. Back okay. with the S in peppers. Peppers, peppers. Peck of pickled peppers. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. You can do it. Peter, Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled pepper. Peter Piper pick. Is Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper? What is the peck of pickled pepper? Peter Piper pick. Very good. Great, Inora. Good job. Ahí vamos, guys. Good job. Perfect. Let's do it with Ezequiel. Let's do it, Ezequiel. Okay, teacher. Veamos. Ay, no, terrible. Okay. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Picked, right? Picked. picked. Very good. The last time, last time, Ezekiel, last time. Okay, okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Pick. Good, perfect, se fijan. I like, miren guys, es muy importante Bravo. hacer los final sounds, ¿ok? Los final sounds muy importantes. Se escucha bien bonito cuando usted lo... 
How do you say that? Oh my God, I forgot the word. In Spanish, pronuncia. No, exaggerate, exagera. Cuando usted exagera esa pronunciación cuando usted está aprendiendo, se escucha bien bonito porque usted se escucha que you want to learn and you're learning. En al final, cuando ustedes ya sean bien uh, fluidos, ya lo están haciendo, pero cuando sean más, más fluidos, se escucha bien bonita esa pronunciación porque usted aprendió el final sound, se aprendió a, termin a darle terminaciones, ¿verdad? Como cuando usted, creo que Daniel me va a entender aquí y en este, my God, <ríe> you're sticky. <ríe> Es, es, es un poco tacaño, miren, miren, a Osbin, Osbin. A Osbin también creo que me va a entender. Es muy importante esto, guys. ¿Saben cómo es importante? Como en las terminaciones de las prendas. ¿Me entienden? Se fijan las terminaciones, los acabados, la costura. Qué importante. Entonces usted ve una costura y dice, mm, usted ve la calidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, si, si está mal la terminación, las costuras y todo eso, los ruedos, ¿verdad? Entonces, es igual que eso. ¿Sí? Final sounds. Sí. Yeah. All right. Como cuando usted ve una tela, ¿verdad? Dice, perdón, un, un, una, una um, a piece of cloth, all right? Una pieza. Y ustedes dicen, ay, qué bonita, se ve bonita, pero ok, let me see. Y ven ustedes los ruedos, ¿verdad? Y de ahí viene y lo jalan y se destraba todo. Entonces, guys, uh, very good, ¿ok? Very good. I'm proud of you, guys. Vamos con Daniel, ¿ok? Let's do it, Daniel. Ah, con razón, Daniel estaba como que, ay, teacher, stop talking. I want to try it. No, Let's do it, no Daniel. Miss Olmos. No, I really don't. I think, teacher, Miss Olmos maybe forgets my participation. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it, Daniel. Okay. okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickles peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickles peppers, where is the pack of pickles peppers Peter Piper picked? Very good, Daniel. The only thing is uh, pickled, instead of putting the S, pickled. because you said pickles, let's do it pickled. Pickled peppers. Pickled peppers. Okay? Pickled peppers. There you go. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers. Where is the pack of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Great job, Daniel. Good. Se fijan. Miren, uh, once you, you handle, I mean, you manage the pronunciation, it sounds so good. I don't know if you feel that. You feel it when you do it, and you feel it when you listen to someone else, right? Se escucha bien bonito. Very good, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, you. very good. So, uh, guys, I want to uh, I want to know what do you think about this activity? Did did it help you with the pronunciation? Tell me, tell me comments about this. Mm -hmm. For me, yes, sounds very good. We need to clarify what is the sound, what is the word, what is what is the. Um, let me see. When when the word is soft, you say that it sounds good. When you say, uh, for example, peppers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Or> pickled, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 That's great, guys, and congratulations, as I said before. Tongue twisters help a lot, so you can go ahead and practice your pronunciation, your intonation, your punctuation, everything, guys, everything. Intonation is very important as well, okay? Intonation, uh, fluency, all right? Fluency, intonation, pronunciation, very important. Punctuation, okay? So, guys, questions about this? Any questions so far? 
or no questions? No questions? No, teach. I don't have questions. All right. No Where is it, guys? I hope that you have already enjoyed this. Uh, let's go to the, let me see, to the manual, please. Go to the manual and go to the page 24. We will practice a building vocabulary on the page 24. All right, so this is what we'll do right now, guys. We have 10 minutes to use a dictionary, English, English, all right? Dictionaries should be English, English. Not English, uh, sorry, not Spanish, English anymore, okay? Nor English, Spanish anymore. English, English is a dictionary, okay? Use that English, English dictionary to find the meanings of the words below, all right? We have dispenser, we have dirt, we have designed, um, design, no, this is not the pronunciation actually. Designated, designated, designated. Mm, one moment, okay, one moment. I just want to make sure about this pronunciation, this, this designated, designated, mm, let me see. Oh, designated, designated, all right? I didn't get that clue about designated, and of course it is designated. Designated, right? Designated, think, throughoutly, throughoutly, right? Throughly, through, throughout, this, this is a little bit difficult, right? Through, through, throughoutly, rudely. Through, through early, okay? Let's repeat through after early. me. Through early. Through early. Through early. Oh, through, through, early. Through, early. through early. Through early. There you go. So, this yeah. pencil, repeat after me. This pencil. This pencil. Third. 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 Designated. Think. 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 Through early. Through early. I hate this pronunciation of this word. Through early. Through early. Through early. Through early. Through early. Through early. There you go. So let's look for the meaning, for the meaning. What is it? What part of the species? Is it a noun? Is it a bird? Is it an adjective? It is an adverb? What is it? What part of the species it is? All right, you put it like this. All right, you put it like this. Look, you put it in parentheses, parentheses. Oh my God, my keyword. Uh, let's see here. Oh my God, here. <laughs> if it is a noun, you put it at N. If it is a verb, you put it at the V. If it is um, an adjective, then you put it like that. All right? Etc. You will find this in a dictionary, English, English dictionary, and then you put the meaning, okay? And then once you finish with this, you will tell me an example using this word, okay? An example. Using the word. Pero ese ejemplo, guys, necesito que lo hagan by your own. No que lo copien de, de, de um, internet, no que lo copien del diccionario. Solo van a copiar el diccionario el significado. ¿Ok? Do me a favor. Tratemos de hacer algo, de hablar con sus propias palabras de ahora en adelante. Váyanse para el diccionario si ustedes quieren buscar el, por ejemplo, buscan dispenser. What is a dispenser? Busca el meaning, ¿ok? Busque el meaning de la palabra, lo entiende y luego usted, cuando usted me dé el significado, usted me lo escribe en sus Hola. propias palabras. Esas palabras que usted entienda, ¿cuál es el significado? ¿Ok? No me lo copie de, del diccionario, sino que usted cree su propio meaning con sus propias palabras y luego crea una oración utilizando esa palabra. ¿All right? 
let's do it like this. It's meaningful. This will be meaningful than just copy and paste it, okay? We, we will have 15 minutes to do it. We will have more time. Do you want to do it in pairs or do you prefer individually or in groups of three? What do you prefer? In group. In groups? In groups? Yes. Groups of three? I'll, I'll group. group. Yes. Guys, what do you think? Groups, individually or pairs? My opinions? No more opinions? Guys. No. Hello. It's fine. Should I make the breaker runs in, in groups of three? Yeah. Okay, teacher. So Google no is valid. No me convencen. <laughs> I, I, I search the words in Google. Yes, but remember, uh, no, it should be in a dictionary. Dictionary, English I dictionary. Don't have dictionary. <laughs> in Google, <laughs> put a dictionary define, there. I, I put define in the word. Guys, come on, le voy a mandar un diccionario. Le voy a mandar un diccionario eh, de Google Play. Tratan de empezar a hacerlo ahorita. Please. I got it, I got it. Empiecen a ahorita mientras hago los break rooms y mientras les mando el diccionario. Les voy a mandar uno bueno que lo tengan en el teléfono y que sea offline, ¿ok? Que no necesiten internet para tenerlo. ¿Ok? Para que lo tengan y lo utilicen siempre que sea offline. Pero let me make sure... I believe that one I have, I have that one. Um, oh, el Marian Wester is super bueno, guys. Le voy a pasar este, pero este sí se necesita internet. Solo deme un segundo porque I want to make sure that I, I send to you the, the right one, ¿ok? Le voy a mandar unos dos súper buenos para que los tenga. Uno offline y el otro que, que tenga, que necesite internet, ¿ok? Pero you, you use it, guys. Lo ocupan. Ok. All right. I'm send opening us. the breaker rooms, guys. Voy a hacer los breaker rooms, pero lo voy a modificar nomás un poquito, ¿all right? Ah, uh, let me see. For, um, Kenny, are you a listener today? Christian. Jose Rene, are you a listener or you are good? You're, you're a participating, creo que se fue. So let me, okay, let me move it here. Julio Cesar Arevalo, Luis Gomez, they are listeners. Jessica, your listener, I remember that. Uh, Julio, Amilcar, Jaime, Dinora. Guys, click on join, please. Marina, Cristian, Daniel, Marcos, Antonio. Guys, click on join. A ver. Guys, join, please. Join to the breaker bunch.
Expensive. Definition involving high cost or sacrifice. Commanding a high price, and especially one that is not based on intrinsic worth or is beyond a prospective buyer's means. Characterized, characterized by high prices. Uh, dispenser, yo pensé, puse. Es okay. dispenser. Dispenser. Uh -huh. dispenser. Dispensador. Dispenser. Okay. Dispenser. It's a one that dispense, such as a container that it drops. Uy. A container that drops. Raise or fit out in convenient units. For example, a soap dispenser, a usually mechanical device for vending merchandise. Merchandise. Eh, yo encontré uno que dice, bueno, es similar. An automatic machine or container which is designed to release a, a specific amount or something. Dispenser. Dispenser. Okay. Designer. 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 Example. Lo estaba buscando en el en el diccionario. Is is it is uh, uh, for example uh, for example. Uh, Sí. One person designed it uh, for for song for song work. Mm -hmm. oh. For example, uh, a good example say, uh, is in, in your job. Uh, what, what, what do you do in your, in, in your job? Este es de, design, de designar alguna... Exacto, que, yes. que es lo que haces en tu trabajo. Es, un, es el trabajo que tengo asignado. Voy a ver un ejemplo. Yes. Sign, uh, the bus designer, designer uh, the driving the car to the, how say, what, what do you say, taller? I don't know, teacher, you. Can you hear, hear oh. us? <laughs> oh. Hello, guys, do you hear me? Yes, uh, yes. Can, uh, can you help us? Uh, what do you say, uh, Tayer? Yes, it's a car shop or car repair shop. Okay. A car repair. Car repair. Car, the, it, car yes, repair. that will be a car repair shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Car repair shop. Car repair shop. Uh, car repair. Uh, Repair shop. Uh, the, the, the mechanic is a is a designer. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, the, the the pronunciation, guys, is designated. Designated. Ah, designated. Ah, designated. Uh -huh. designated. Uh -huh. designated. Exactly. Uh, okay. okay. Designated. Uh, um, in this case, uh, it's 
that the mechanic is designated uh, prepare the car. To repair okay. the car, exactly. To repair, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, in C, the next thing. So, sing. Sink. 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 But not yet installed. Chosen, but not yet installed. I find other other, other definition. Officially, as in a specific status or ascribed a specific name or quality to. Can you repeat me, please? And of officially assign a special a specific status or ascribe a specific name or quality to. That that's a good definition. Eh, como asignar oficialmente un estatus específico o atribuirle un nombre o una cualidad específica. Yes. Me la dicta. You <laughs> spell me. <laughs> oh, please. O, o, o se la mando al chat o se la repito. Repeat me. <laughs> ah, okay. Of, es que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Official. Official. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? Official. 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 Mm -hmm. Official. Official. Y para especificar, teacher, es. es, es ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Spy, spice. Sorry, specify. Ajá, specify. Mm -hmm. Official y así. Uh, special. Teacher, repeat please this word. Specify. Specify. Yes. Specify stat, stat, status or ascribe a spec, specific name or quality to. Okay. The next one uh, is teacher. ¿Cómo se? Ah, no, si vamos por la for sink. La última palabra, teacher. ¿Cómo se pronuncia?
my hello sorry i had a pill in my mouth <laughs> sorry <laughs> um let's see and the word that's warm, warm right through see? through early through early mm -hmm. through early through early through early there you go through early Yes. See, what is your definition? I I don't understand this word. Did you find a definition of sink? Sign. Not clean. Mm -hmm. That not clean. Yes. Only that. Only that. The next. Okay, the next is designated. Designated <laughs> is a. Uh, the same substantive. I, I don't know. The same idea is, let me see. The same idea is when, for example, for me, is when, when, uh, when, the, when the, ba the boss uh, told you you can or you are. You uh, you can. Ah, uh, it's difficult. I I yes, have the it's idea, but to I don't explain. know. It's difficult to explain with our words, but um, <laughs> it's, but it's, it's, it's an it's not it's not object. It's not adjective. But what mm -hmm. is what is? It's a substantive. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not a bear. Maybe this there adjective subject no subject. Um, Guys, um, in the dictionary you will be able to see what is what is it if it is a verb a, a, a noun a, a an adverb and on the dictionary you can find it. It's a noun. I, but this this is a little to to check it. Excuse me. Uh, where you can use the dictionary? The dictionary more easy to use. What is? Um, both are useful. Both of them. One of them is offline, and the other one is with internet. The best one is the Western dictionary. The best one. But I I have a good idea. For example, the signare is. It's when a verb. It's going to select a person who, who can do a role or, or purpose. Easy for me, but I don't know. The signature is an adjective in a dictionary. Say, dictionary say, it's a verb when it's using in simple past. Say, mm -hmm. yes, it's, it's, it's in Spanish it's designado, but the signature. He is going to select up for me. He's going to select a person who can do. Uh, and when you just say, mm -hmm. 
Yes. ¿Quedaría la oración? María. María. You, you must clean the kitchen from the kitchen. María debe de limpiar la sociedad de la cocina. María, you must, you must clean, clean the beer, beer from the kitchen. From the kitchen. We, ma, you must clean the dirt from the kitchen, the cocina, de la cocina. Please, from the please, kitchen. please repeat complete sentences. Maria, you must clean, clean the dirt, dirt, the I R T. Uh huh. From the kitchen. From F -R -O -M. From the kitchen. Okay. Do you really for the week? Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh -huh. The four, el número cuatro era sin que, que era como hundirse decía verdad ajá uh -huh. iba a ser uh -huh. un uh -huh. qué sería okay. Eh, podría ser también, eh, no, pero, por ejemplo, si, si colocó el pie en una grada y esta se está sí. dañada y se hunde. Entonces podría decir de, de step, step se dice, ¿verdad? Step. Sí. O la escalera está, un, tiene las, ay no sé, las, una de las step, de mesh. No, porque ahí sería dañada, es, un, es hundida. <risas> No sé, qué, no sé qué ejemplo poner. Ay. Oh, ya no se me ocurre nada para eso. Cuando voy a la pieza. Holding progress. Satinizer. Así, así era, Satinacin. No, Satinacin. Satinacin. Satinacin se escribe, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Satinacin. Satini. Sati. No, Sanitism. Sanitism. Con ING. Sanitism. Yo creo que sí, porque solo tiene una palabra, pero no sé. Sí, cinco.
Profesí Hasmani. Tiene mucha deuda. ¿Cómo se dice deudas? Obligation. No, ¿verdad? Aquí me parece como debt. Deud. Debt. D -E -B -T -S. D -E -B -T -S, D-E-B-T-S. D-E-B-T-S. Como deb. Uh -huh. como, como, de, como que escribiéramos débito sin la I y la O. Ajá. <ríe> Deb. Entonces, she had many debts. And eh, she feels sin. Ella se siente hundida. Hundida. Eh, podría poner una coma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. y mm. Sería feels con, con S, ¿verdad? Sí. Hoy está hablando en presente. Feel. Hello, Sink. guys. Sorry to interrupt you. Where are you right now? What, what word are you working on? The number five. Mm -hmm. Vaya. Number five. Yes. The uh -huh. last one. The comp, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Es from only complete, complete. Podría ser entonces lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. We come with thronely. Nosotros. Ay, me ocurre ahorita. Pero quiero ver. Nosotros bueno. completamos porque dice que es como rellenar o, fin, o hacer. O sea, como es de. Es algo que ya está y como que tiene un espacio vacío y uno lo, como fin, rellena. como rellenar. Entonces nosotros hemos completado ahorita, digamos, este, del, las oraciones o, las, o, lo que, o lo que nos está requiriendo, un requerimiento. We strongly the activity le voy a poner. Nosotros, nosotros completamos la actividad que solicitada por la teacher. <risa> <risa> por mí, sí. <risa> Como si solicitar el, es lo mismo que pedir, ¿verdad? requerida por la teacher o requerida por la clase mm -hmm. requerida por la clase ¿cómo se escribe requerida? requerida requerida por de de clase le voy a poner así lo voy a dejar no sé si estará bien Hice una de cada una, pero no sé. Estará correcto okay. la número dos que yo hice, yo puse. My cover is, my cup is, is dirty. I have to wash for drink of coffee. Sorry, repeat please. My cup, it is dirty. I have to wash for drink of coffee. Yo creo que sí. Yo creo que sí. Hay que, hay que nos corrija, hay que me corrija. El... Que nos corrija la ticha. La idea, la idea es esa, como el chavo. 
<risa> Ay, tengo sueño. Sí. Hello, hello guys. Thank you for joining back. Is everyone here? I'm here. Okay, guys, um, we will go ahead and resolve the vocabulary practice that we have. Um, I will share the screen. Let me get a moment. And I would like to have some volunteers to help me to put the definitions that you have in regards to the words, okay? Me, teacher. Who wants to help me? Which word? The number one, dispenser. Okay, dispenser for my group is an object that we can use to subtract uh -huh. liquid. All right, to subtract liquid, right? Perfect. Yes. Did you do the definition? Did you create the definition? Yes, I create. Perfect. Thank but with, you. With, in, in group, but with my group. Great. What is it? What part of the speech is it? Lisa? What? Sorry? Is that an adjective, a verb? A noun, what is it? It's a, it's, it's it's a, a noun. noun because it's an object. It's, it's a, a noun. Object. It's a noun. Okay. It's a noun. Perfect. It's a noun. All right. Number two. Who wants to help me? Thank you, Christian and group. Number two, dirt. Who wants to help me with dirt? <laughs> Me teacher. All right, Sabrina, let's do it. Number two. It yeah. say a substance such as mood, dust, or grime. Grime. Or All right. Perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, sorry, Sabrina. Let me give let me get one moment. Christian, do you have an exp an example for this pencil? Okay. My my mom used the dispenser when need to subtract water of the bottle. All right, uses my mom uses right. Okay. My, my mom uses. Very good. All right, thank you, Sabrina. Let's continue. Ah, uh, do you have an example? What part of the species is it? Mm -hmm. No, teacher, I don't have. I don't have. Uh, what about your partner? Does every does anyone can does, give me a, a the shorts? The uh -huh. shoes are dust. The 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 shoes are dirt. 
Oh, so let me now let me ask you a question. What part of the speech is dirt? Is sub is is a noun? Is a verb, adjective, or an adverb? Guys, what is it? Adjective. Adjective. Sure. I believe. Or is a noun? Yeah. It's an objective. It's an objective. Sure. Guy. A hundred percent sure that is an objective. It's a noun. It's a noun. Very good. Okay, it's a noun. What is it? What is the objective of this? Uh, I mean, how how would you make an objective from this? Entonces puedo decir um, dirty. Sociedad, teacher. Yes, and dirty is an objective. Dirty is the adjective. Yes. Dirt is a noun, okay? Dirt is a noun and dirty is an adjective. Yes? All right, so who wants to give me an example? If it is a is if it is a noun, what, what example can you give me, guys? The strip of the Salvador have a lot of deer. Very good. The streets in El Salvador have a, a lot of dirt. Very good. Great. All right, let's go to the, to the number three. Who wants to help me with designated? Guys? I, I try. Me let's do it. Me. Jose okay. Rene? Okay. The definition of designer is establishing... Designated. Designated. The, the designated of... Mm -hmm. uh, the, the definition... The, me trabo. The definition <laughs> of this design either is establish, establishing a thing or person. Simple. All right. Perfect. And the, and the example is, is the example is Miss Almost is the design designer teacher it's for the English class. Very good. Okay. So what is it? It is a verb, an adjective, a noun? Verb. It is a verb? Is that a verb? I think. Verb. Is, is verb an adjective? It is verb depends to the context. Adjective. All right. What about in the context that Jose Rene use it? Did, uh, uh, Jose, uh -huh. Jose use in adjective. An adjective, very good, Jose Rene, because okay. designated is modifying teacher. Is this is modifying the noun? Está modificando, le está diciendo que es el teacher designado, okay? Está okay. funcionando como objetivo. Very good. Okay, great. Thank you, Jose Rene. Thank you, Christian. Good job. Yeah. Number four, guys. Julio Cesar, was were you about to participate? No? Number four, sing, guys. Number four. I try again. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we sing. Con encontramos con mi grupo, que era, bueno, definimos nosotros de esta manera. Container to wash or thin for the kitchen. All right, very good. Great. Uh, como solo anyone that comes it. Mm -hmm. And what is an what is it? Is it a noun, an adjective, an ever? Mm, object. <clears throat> noun? Is that a noun? Nosotros no. lo encontramos como un objeto, como Algo de fregadero o okay. contenedor. It's, it's, it's a, a noun. noun. It's a noun. It's a noun, teacher. But, 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 but it's synonym to, to the verb because it's like a, 
bueno, en español, hundir o bajar, algo así. Yes, it can be both. It can be both, but mostly it is a noun. It's a noun. Regadero. Mm -hmm. Very good. Who would you like, uh, who, who wants to give me a, a, an example? We shall put the dishes in the sink. Very good. Great job. Very good. All right. Perfect. What about the number five? Who wants to have it with number five, guys? What is the correct pronunciation for this word? Truly. Truly is a person who cares about even the small detail. Truly? Oh, did you uh -huh. find it? For me, for me, is a person who cares about even the smallest detail. Mm. Oh, it's okay. like when we do it's like when we do something with too much care mm -hmm. but it's a person or it's an adjective to describe a person who cares about even the small design so it is an adjective is that an adjective Adverb, adverb, yeah, it's, it's an adverb, it's an adverb, yes, it's an adverb, very good. Uh, exactly, you curse about about all the details, right? You go like all the details over there, very good, good job. So, who wants to give me an example? An example. Thanks. My sister is thoroughly in when when she make the homework. Um, so you can say my sister makes the homework thoroughly. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The homework, right? The homework or the homework assignments. If it is in plural, homework assignments. If okay. it is just one, homework. All right, perfect guys. All right, just let me go through the attendance list. Very good, okay, very good. On this practice, let me go through the attendance. And um, Julio Cesar Ramirez, you will stay with me. Do you happen to have any question before we go, guys, and we rest for the weekend? No questions? No, teacher. All right. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend, guys. Weekends, uh, weekend, sorry. Thank you very much for joining and for your support and, 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 and time. We will see you next week. Make sure that we made the homework and the midterm that you finish, that you have everything by tonight, by midnight, all right? And if you have, if you don't have any question, you can stay until 10, all right? Well, I am going through the attendance list and then you say present and then you, you finish until 10 and then we can, uh, we can leave, okay? All right, guys, so I hope you have a wonderful night. Please stay with me until I, I go through the attendance list. One moment.
Sorry, guys, I was on mute. Nelson um, Vladimir Flores Martinez. Jose René Aire Chavarría. Present. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Osvin Alexis Hernández Flores. Present teacher. María Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present, present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. María Dinora Janes Hernández. Present teacher. Marcos Amilcar Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Present. Kenny Lisset Cuayar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you. Just one moment. No. El micrófono. El micrófono abre. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Ezequiel is not here. Just one moment, guys. I don't know where he is. Okay. Estela Mabel Oriana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present teacher. Jessica Al Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Jorge Alberto Navarro López. Josué Manuel Rodríguez. Hernández. Julio César Merino González. Present teacher. Take care. Okay. We're done, right? Okay, guys. So thank you very much for being in the class. We see you until next week. All right. I hope you have a wonderful night and thank you very much for joining today, guys. And for your time. Yes. No. I don't hear my name. Christian Josué López Pérez. Okay, thank you. Ya no, es, ya no estás en la lista. Es. <laughs> ya me no, sacaron. No. no, no, no. Dice una pregunta: ¿por qué, solo vamos, ¿por qué solo vamos a llegar a la sección 2 de la plataforma? Eh, porque fíjese que no han no habilitaron más este a, actividades fíjese lo que pasa es de que si usted se fija en la unidad número dos no hay muchos temas verdad sino que al uh -huh. contrario es más práctica de listening de speaking y de otras habilidades que nos ayudan muchísimo verdad pero por lo que ve ahí eh, solo tenemos a la sección 2 porque solo hemos terminado la, la unidad número dos verdad ¿Por qué? Porque hemos ah, okay. un poquito más de espacio para desarrollar más habilidades. Por eso es, básicamente. Y la unidad 3 es parte de la sección número 3. Por eso no les dije que la terminaran porque es de troubleshooting y es algo que no hemos visto todavía. Así que pues no vamos a ponerlos a hacer algo que, que no lo hemos visto. Así que hasta la próxima semana vamos a seguir con la eh, session 3. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. You're okay. welcome, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night, them. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.
Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Salud, Julio. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hello, hello, Julio. How are you today? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Great. Nice to see you, Julio. Well, Julio, uh, this time we will go ahead and use it to see if there is any topic in which you have difficulties and which you would like to get more practice, right? I, I know this specific course, I mean, this specific model, it's been uh, difficult for you because of your work. So don't worry. That's what I want to know if you would like to get a extra practice about any specific topic, any skill that has been difficult for you or any comment, any feedback that you may have. Tell me Julio and let's do something so that I can help you. Yes, hello, hello. Últimamente no he estado muy, muy, por las clases, por lo que le comentaba de mi internet y todo. Quizá me quedó alguna duda en temas pasados. Ah, sí, eh, dígame, ¿cuál cuando, es? Cuando hablaba de los comparativos. Ah, muy bien. Super, no recuerdo si se había visto superlativos. No. Todavía no, creo que solamente los comparativos. ¿Cuándo es que vimos eso? Déjeme ver. Si fue la primera clase, los comparativos. Déjeme ver. Ajá, donde mencionaba de que si tiene más de dos sílabas, eh, ah, okay. se le agrega more. Súper. Ahorita lo vamos, lo, lo voy a compartir esa, esa, esa diapositiva donde estamos hablando de los comparatives, de los comparative uh -huh. adjectives. De estos estamos bien, Julio, de, lo, de las primeras reglas. Sí, eso se le agrega, si es de una, uh -huh, de una, de una sílaba, sílaba, una sílaba se le agrega R al final, ¿verdad? Exacto. De ahí la otra que si termina con E, solo se le agrega la R, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, si termina en consonante, vowel consonant, se le duplica la última consonante. Y si le agrega la R. R. Uh -huh. Exacto. La, la otra es que si termina, por ejemplo, en I, eh, perdón, en, en, en Y, en Y, le cambiamos el Y, le ponemos el I, y le agrega la R. Uh -huh. La R. Uh -huh. Ajá, eh, sería la I, la E y la R, exacto. Y aquí es lo que usted me dice, básicamente es, hacemos eh, cuando un comparativo, ¿verdad? Para hacer un comparativo, ma, ma, per, perdón, para más de dos sílabas eh, y más de tres o más sílabas, o sea, de dos en adelante, ya la podemos poner como more. Como por ejemplo, como more, more ge, generous, tiene tres, ¿verdad? beautiful, Pancho, este tiene dos. Stubborn tiene dos. Selfish tiene dos. Y Honest tiene dos subjects. La de arriba sí tienen tres. Entonces, esas como ser, por ser más largas, ¿verdad? Lo, sí, las, sí. las sílabas, perdón, por tener más, de hecho, se le pone more al principio. Y Ahí no se agrega R ni nada. Exacto, ya no se agrega R, ¿verdad? O decimos, uh -huh. ajá, tenemos que decir more beautiful, more generous, more punctual, more stubborn, more selfish, more honest. Y le quería comentar que hay excepciones también. Y se las voy a mostrar aquí. Mm, déjeme ver. Ah, sí, estas, mire. Estas son excepciones en las cuales estos verbos de acá, como polite, simple, clever, quiet, narrow, and friendly, estos, estos adjetivos de acá pueden ocupar la terminación er, er, sorry, o podemos ponerle more. En cualquiera de las dos opciones están bien. Por ejemplo, decimos polite, podemos decir politer o podemos decir more polite. O sea, es una variación que tenemos en estos casos. Entonces, okay. tal vez acá, Luis, eh, <coughs> perdón, Julio, es cuestión de aprenderse los verbos, eh, perdón, los adjetivos que son como excepciones, ¿verdad? 
como saber que estos son los que están como excepción, porque no confundirlo con los demás porque no podemos, ¿verdad? Entonces estos son los únicos que hay como excepción. Solo Entonces, esos como... dos, cuatro, cuatro, dos, seis. Exacto. Solo ejemplo... esos seis son los... Solo eso sé. Por ejemplo, okay. simple, simple, simpler, puede decir simpler o puede decir more simple. En clever, sí. usted dice cleverer o more clever. En quieter, yeah. qu quieter o more quiet. Oh. Quieter, ajá. Uh -huh. O narrower o more narrow. More narrow. O friendlier, podemos decir esta friendlier o puede decir more friendly. Entonces, esas dos son las únicas que aceptan las dos variaciones, ¿verdad? Perdón, estas eh, seis, seis adjetivos. Los demás ya no, ya, ya no, no, no aceptan, ¿verdad? So, o sería esa regla o sería las demás reglas que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Okay, y teacher. estos, esos, perdón, esos también, uy, sorry. Esos también son excepciones, mire. Hay uh -huh. excepciones también porque, por ejemplo, este... No sigue ninguna regla, ¿verdad? Ni una ni la otra, sino que este, la palabra cambia completamente. Por ejemplo, en good decimos better. Better. Ajá. En far decimos farther o further. ¿verdad? Cualquiera de las dos está bien. Si usted se fija, es completamente diferente. No lleva la ER. Aparentemente podemos decir, pero, pero nada que ver porque la palabra cambia, ¿verdad? completamente, ni le ponemos more. En little, we say less. Y en bad, nosotros decimos worse. El superlativo todavía no lo hemos visto, pero en realidad estas siempre van a cambiar también en la parte superlativa. Pero por el momento, sí, como le digo, no lo hemos visto, más sin embargo, uh -huh. esas son las palabras que no siguen ninguna de las otras reglas, sino que son como los verbos irregulares, ¿se acuerda? Que no, no, no cambia, o sea, sí cambia completamente de manera diferente toda la escritura, ¿verdad? Ok, de acuerdo. Far, eh, si lo queremos traducir, es lejos. Exacto. No. Sí, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces es más lejos. Al final, farther es más lejos. Y el far, lighter, es... Little, 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 pequeño. Little, uh -huh. ah, pequeño. Pequeño, uh -huh. más pequeño. Ajá. ¿eh? Eso es básicamente. Okay, no sé si está, está, está un poco más comprensible ahorita, ¿no, sí. Julio? Sí. Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Y los otros temas cómo vamos? ¿Todo bien? Sí, quizás lo, lo que me cuesta, teacher, bastante siento yo. Sí. Es, es las indicaciones, algunas cosas se las entiendo cuando usted está hablando, ah, pero claro. otras cosas sí no, no logro comprender. Entonces, eh, ahí no sé qué podríamos hacer para, para poder... Eh, entender más esa parte o estudiar más por aparte, no sé. Entiendo, solamente una, una, un, solamente eh, para corroborar, Julio, ¿es cuestión tal vez de listening o es cuestión tal vez de, de la manera como se indican las cosas? Puede ser cualquiera de los dos, ¿verdad? Tal vez dando más ejemplos en las indicaciones. Quizás, o en la parte que quizás de ahí. Ajá, ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, ah, en vaya. Las indicaciones. Vamos a tratar de hacer eso. Y de verdad, muchas gracias, Julio, de dar más ejemplos, ¿verdad? Al momento que sean las indicaciones o las instrucciones de hacer alguna actividad. Porque pues puede ser que alguna palabra no se capte, ¿verdad? Y no quede como muy claro. Entonces vamos a dar un poquito más de ejemplo, ¿verdad? Como que, ok, acá le voy a dar un ejemplo. Yo lo hago una, por ejemplo, y ya después nos pasamos a la práctica. Pero de listening si estamos ¿Mm? bien, Luis César. Julio César. Uy, no sí me cuesta bastante el listening. ¿Sí? Sí, porque por ejemplo ayer, ayer que puso el, 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 el par fue el, uh -huh. el, el, en WhatsApp. La conversación. Ajá. La conversación. Algunas cosas sí las, las, las escribí, pero otras cosas nada que ver, ¿va? Como, oh, como okay. yo las había escrito. Entiendo. Fíjese que ahí mi recomendación, de hecho, eh, Julio César, va a ser eh, dos. A veces son bien complicadas, ¿verdad? Seguir esas, eh, esas como tips, porque pues uno no tiene como el acceso, ¿verdad? A eso, pero 
tratar la manera de, por ejemplo, una de las que yo siempre les digo es de que vean eh, películas, series, cualquier cosa, un podcast en inglés, pero que sea inglés nativo, ¿verdad? Eh, porque es la manera como la verdad al final vamos a ir entendiendo mejor que sea un, un, un inglés nativo. Eh, más que todo, puede usted tratar de ver como series, algo que a usted le gusta, películas y ponerlo siempre en subtítulos en inglés y la película en inglés, 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 para que usted vaya comparando los subtítulos de abajo, cómo se pronuncia, cómo se escribe y al mismo tiempo usted vaya viendo, ¿verdad? Usted vaya comparando. Okay. Y el otro, yo siempre digo esto, yo sé que no es muy alcanzable porque pues en este país realmente porque no tenemos el inglés como segundo idioma, sino que como idioma extranjero es bien difícil encontrar un, un, un ambiente en el cual nosotros estemos practicando a cada momento el inglés, ¿verdad? Más sin embargo, si en cualquier dado caso, en, tu, en su trabajo, en su comunidad, donde sea, ¿verdad? Usted tenga una persona na, que hable inglés, que sea nativa, aproveche y trate de practicar con esa persona porque ahí es donde sí se va a dar el aprendizaje exacto, ¿verdad? Porque, pues realmente le voy a decir, en mi experiencia personal es como yo he aprendido, ¿verdad? Es bien difícil, la verdad, estar aprendiendo un listening de canciones, de, de películas y no tener como esa... Como le digo, ese ambiente involucrado, ¿verdad? En el cual usted no solamente escuche, sino que usted también se involucre en esa conversación. Entonces, si usted tiene la oportunidad de hacer eso, pues qué bueno y trate la manera de, 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 de aprovechar eso porque es bien difícil y es la única manera como usted de verdad va a desarrollar su, su oído súper bien. De lo contrario, hagamos lo otro secundario que se puede hacer también, claro que sí. ¿Verdad? Eso es lo que le puedo decir. Y fíjese que yo he recomendado mucho el website que, se, que es de Randall. Se lo voy a mandar. Randall. Uh -huh. Él es, la verdad a mí me gusta mucho porque es bien natural en los podcasts, en los podcasts, sorry, que hace. Y es, una, es un señor que es, que es de apellido Randall, creo yo, y hizo este website. Y me gusta su pronunciación bastante, bastante entendible. Tiene niveles ya sea desde de básico hasta difícil. Puede tratar usted de escuchar porque él hace bastante y me gusta, como le digo, porque es bien natural él. Entonces, no es como bien académico, sino que él es bien natural. Y también en los ejercicios ya son bastantes académicos, de hecho. Porque también le da ejercicios que usted puede, pues, desarrollar dependiendo de, de su podcast o su listening. Yo se lo voy a pasar. A mí me gustó mucho, yo lo aprendí en la universidad y me gustó muchísimo la manera como él habla, ¿verdad? Solamente que ahí tiene que buscar listening activities o buscar al menos qué tipo de nivel, easy, intermediate, difficult, ¿verdad? Y ahí va a encontrar un montón de temas que él ha grabado. Como le digo, es algo viejito ya este website. Él ahorita hace, creo yo, videos todavía. Lo he visto haciendo videos en YouTube, algo así. No uh -huh. sé qué tan actualizado está la página. No le voy a mentir porque no la he vuelto a utilizar. Pero sé que ahí quedó, ¿verdad? Ahí quedó y, y la verdad es que para mí me ayudó muchísimo. Eh, eso es lo que yo les recomiendo, Julio, con respecto a eso. Y pues cualquier cosa que usted vaya viendo... Algo que le podamos ayudar, siempre dígame, escríbame, ¿verdad? Algún tema que le esté costando. Y nosotros con, bueno, en mi parte yo con gusto le ayudo. Y de verdad, muchísimas gracias por el tiempo que se ha dedicado, ¿verdad? A, a esta sesión. No sé si hay alguna otra pregunta o algo más en lo cual yo le puedo ayudar, Julio. Solamente, te hecho. Bueno. Solamente. Uh -huh. Bueno, pues cualquier cosa me va diciendo, si le ha funcionado lo que le he dicho, pues si no vemos qué más podemos hacer. Igual tenemos dos semanas más, Julio, y si puede involucrarse más en la clase, pues mucho que mejor. Y si no, pues créame que yo entiendo y cualquier cosa que me pregunten, yo lo pongo en los comentarios, ¿verdad? O, o lo digo, pero gracias por siempre mantenerme comunicada de lo que está pasando, eso es muy importante, ¿verdad? Porque, pues, usted sabe que a veces sin Safor audita y todo, entonces siempre 
está como preguntando, a veces yo sé que le llaman, ¿verdad? O sea, hay muchas cosas, usted siempre diga lo que está pasando y dígale que usted, pues usted está aquí en el curso porque usted quiere seguir y quiere terminar, pero se le ha dificultado mucho por su internet, por su trabajo, pero que lo intenta. Y créame que de alguna manera ellas van entendiendo bastante eh, porque hay cuestiones que de verdad no se pueden evitar, pero hay otras situaciones, no su caso, de que pasa totalmente lo contrario, pues y por eso ellos quieren evitar, ¿verdad? Que, que, que realmente no estén participando o no estén haciendo nada, pues, pero en su caso creo yo que es muy entendible y lo que importa acá en este programa es full comunicación, ya sea conmigo con ellos, que les esté diciendo para que ellos ya lleven, hayan notado qué es lo que está pasando, fíjense. Así que eso nada más les recomiendo por lo demás, Julio, muchas gracias. Les deseo Gracias. que tengan una Gracias. excelente noche. Nos vemos Muchas la siguiente semana. Bueno, Vamos, adiós. Bye bye. bye.